Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I use, if I'm going to send a copy of this lake to a customer, I'm going to use a program called Snagit, which Snagit is running right now and recording this video. But also inside of Windows is a snipping tool, and I've done a plenty of videos on it. It's pretty cool. But uh, I was at the APA show this week, last week, and there's a hotkey for that. And so if you just go control windows S or shift, excuse me, shift, shift windows S key and go right here and make this. Now it won't work because I'm running a video on this, but this is what comes up. This, this comes up and all you have to do, this will come up and then all you have to do is hit save. And you can save it as, let's, let's go ahead and do it. Let's put it on the screenshot and see if it'll work. And then maybe we can go open it. So now we can right click our mouse and import it and go to the desktop. And there it is right there. There's a screenshot. So this is what you would send to the customer to approve the text, the, the placement, you know, uh, you know, possibly the color. So it's a pretty pretty powerful uh, device to take a picture of your artwork inside Corel because, you know, you can't just save it as Corel and send it to them. Now, you can export it as a PDF, but when you do that, everything on your screen is going to be exported. So if you've got, you know, a couple maps or, you know, like a, I do this a lot for uh, a bunch of different texts and, and font styles, and I give them some choices. And then I will use, I'll use snag it, but I'll, you could use snip it and, and then save that and send that to them and they can open it up. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.